until the Browns are on the clock. Ian Rappaport, what are you hearing about in the draft buzz? Well, Rich, there's two teams we are keeping an eye on now. First of all, the Kansas City Chiefs. I am told they are making the most noise of any team plotting a potential move up. The Kansas City Chiefs no longer have a first-round pick. Wow. They just traded it along with the 91st overall pick to move up 17 spots. All right, 30 seconds. We'll turn it in. Don't drag it out. Okay. We're good. We'll turn it All right. Bring it back to me, and then let's turn it in. With the 10th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. Card is in. All right, congratulations. The Kansas City Chiefs select Patrick Mahomes, the second. Our entire group here is really, really excited. Andy and his offensive staff, they're going to do a great job. I told you you were going to get the ball. Huh? It's a great night, great day. Enjoy it, and uh, we'll fire it up, man. And fired up we will be. How are we doing, Kansas City? This is the Richard Smith Show, where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs. It is Thursday, April 18th, and we are on the brink, uh, a brink of the NFL Draft. And I mean, it's an exciting time to be any type of fan in the NFL, but... Um, particularly around draft time. Um, and this is this is one of those scenarios where I, I, I started to do a mock draft, okay? But I decided not to. I decided to walk away from that because of, you know, everything that transpires in a draft is really hard to do. And there's so many prospects. And um, apparently we traded away our first round picks. So now we have three second round picks. Um, I'm not sure where we sit uh, as far as the compensation and if we'll get, you know, some more compensation. I'm not sure how that whole deal is is going down. But what I do know is our team needs, uh, we we need edge rushers, we need cornerbacks, uh, linebackers, interior offensive line, interior defensive line, safety, and wide receiver. That is our team needs. So I think we'll be focused quite a bit on those uh, positions, obviously. So the chief schedule, Kansas City chief schedule was released yesterday afternoon and it is an interesting schedule in a way. I feel like we, uh, have a, a favorable schedule, but at the same time, I see some really tough defenses and some up and coming teams in the schedule. I also see a weird scenario where we play the Packers twice week four in preseason and then we turn around and have a a uh, week eight bout against the Packers so I find that to be extremely interesting and kind of kind of weird I'd never seen um, us play uh, a non-divisional opponent twice in one year so anyway let's start out with the schedule preseason we have the Bengals the Steelers the 49ers and the Packers and is it just me, or does this seem like we always play the Bengals and you know the 49ers and the Packers in preseason? It just seems kind of like a staple for us. But, um, hey, I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. So we get into the regular season. You know, I'm going to go in depth a little bit with these teams and what we're doing here. Uh, week one, we play the Jaguars. And, you know, look, the Jaguars were kind of a banged-up team last year and had a, you know, a bad quarterback situation, and they brought in Nick Foles. Um, so, look, Nick Foles is a new starting quarterback down there, and he might turn things around for Jacksonville, so we can't sleep on that game. Uh, I know we walked all over him last year, but we have to understand the, there's a new guy running the show there, and Nick Foles, if you guys haven't figured it out, in Chiefs Kingdom, is a great quarterback. Um, he played on the Kansas City Chiefs for a year or two and, and did some really nice things for us. I was happy to have him, uh, but also hated to see him go. So week two, we are at the Raiders. I'm sorry, week one, we are at the Jaguars. Week two, we are at the Raiders um, and Antonio Brown uh, led Raiders. So you can imagine that things are going to change a little bit there um, for the Raiders. But, uh, I mean, let's keep it real. It's, um, it's still a huge work in process. So week three, the Ravens come to Kansas City. That's going to be a, an interesting game. I honestly think we can get it done. Um, you know, I I think that we could personally start out the season seven eight and zero if we do it correctly. Um, I, look, it, we go to the Lions after that. We play the Lions week four. Then we go to the Colts. 
No, the Colts come to Arrowhead. I'm sorry. And that is a nationally televised game. Um, and that will be the uh, the Justin Houston game, I'm going to call it, quote unquote. Justin Houston come back to Arrowhead. I believe that he will get a great ovation. I can't, I, I couldn't imagine uh, Chiefs Kingdom being anything but relentlessly respectful to that man. So, and I think that's one that we can take as well. I, week six, we have the Texans at home. Week seven, we're at the Broncos. Week eight, we have the Packers at home. Week nine, we have the Vikings at home. Week 10, we are at the Titans. Week 11, we are at the Chargers. That's the Monday night football game in Mexico City. Week 12, the Raiders come to Arrowhead. Week 13, this is the one I'm waiting for. And I'm sure everybody in Chiefs Kingdom completely agrees with me on this. And this is where we go to Foxborough. And of course, New England doesn't come to Kansas City. We got to go to Foxborough. This is payback. This is redemption. Look, I can't, I cannot see Tom Brady having Patrick Mahomes' number. That's not going to happen. We're going to light uh, the Patriots up this year in Foxborough. Week 14, the Broncos are in Kansas City. Week 15, we are at Chicago. Play the Bears. Week 17, I'm sorry, week 16, the Chargers are at Arrowhead. We have a really good scenario here to run the table. We got a team that can run the table. Here's the thing. There's some we have some we're playing some really really good defenses and not so great offenses, okay? But you can't stop Patrick Mahomes. So I look at this schedule as it is in favor of the Chiefs completely. And I've seen people complain that we only have eight home games. Well, I'm sorry we only have eight home games. 16 games in a season, and half of them are at home. Don't quite understand that one. Um, I don't like that we are not going to have uh, an opening game at Arrowhead until week three. It's like God, every season they can't just let us have you know, an, an opening game at home. They just I don't know. They don't want to see us blow somebody out of the water week one, I guess. Um, do I think we have a great shot for playoffs? Absolutely. I honestly, look, if we played the Patriots 16 times in a row, I'd say that we were going to make the pay, the playoffs and not a doubt in my mind. So any other team in the league? Yeah. Yeah. I think we can beat all these teams. I don't think there's a team in the league that the Kansas City Chiefs don't have a legitimate shot at blowing the doors off of. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I am I am surprised though. I want to say one thing about our schedule. I'm surprised that Cleveland and Pittsburgh didn't make it into our regular season schedule. Possibly the Rams. Figured that we'd have another Rams bout since last year was one of the most epic games of all time. No surprise that we have New England and then the regular rotation for for our schedule. And this is just Look, this is a great-looking schedule. Kansas City, I wouldn't complain about this. In my mind, we are set up to, you know, take a, another strong shot uh, at a Super Bowl, a Super Bowl victory. Um, I like the NFC teams that we're playing because, look, we're getting a chance to play some of the premier talent in the NFC, which is good. And these none of these teams, I would say, are top teams in the NFC. Vikings, um, Packers, Lions... And Bears, uh, well, Bears, uh, I can't really say anything about the Packers yet. I'm not sure what's going to go on with Aaron Rodgers this year. But the Vikings, I mean, the Vikings got a squad. But look, it, I, one thing that I have grown accustomed to in the last six years, being a Chiefs uh, fan, obviously I've been a Chiefs fan my whole life, but just the last six years is the consistency of winning. And when you have that consistency, uh, your fear of teams, you know, starts to, to go down. And that's like the New England Patriots. Those fans aren't scared of any other team in the NFL. Why would they be? They have no reason to fear anybody in the league. But I feel that way about the Chiefs too. The Chiefs have nobody, don't fear anybody. And if you have seen the, the latest odds for teams to win the Super Bowl, we actually are tied 
for the best odds to win the Super Bowl, and those are four to one, and we are tied with. I'm sure you guys can go ahead and guess it. I'm going to give you a chance. And yes, you are correct. It is the New England Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> so, but let's keep it in the AFC. I'm cool with that. I mean, I, I don't mind the, the AFC bouts. And uh, I, I love the fact that, you know, we always have a front runner and a, a team that will competitively make a run for the Super Bowl. Um, this is a good scenario for the Chiefs. And, and as long as we kill this draft like we usually do, um, I feel like we're going to be okay. And we'll see what happens here with... Uh, um, free agency, you know, before the draft, because there's still some things to solidify. And we really, you know, us trading down in the draft makes me wonder, you know, what, what we're doing here and what we have going on before the draft. But look, we'll just have to, we'll just have to uh, wait and see. We've got what, gosh, seven, it was a week from Tomorrow, a week from tomorrow, is the NFL draft. Thursday, April 25th is the day the draft begins. So, we got another week to get something done. Um, this is the broadcast. I want to throw out our um, our schedule here and kind of go in a little bit of detail. You can also buy Chiefs tickets online right now. Um, you know, go to KansasCityChiefs.com or Ticketmaster.com, uh, wherever you, you buy your tickets. They are for sale. Um, and go ahead and get your seats, people. Get them locked in because uh, you know how it is. And Kansas City is, is a always sold out, packed house, and it's going to be a huge season this year. And so get out and see Patrick Mahomes. If you don't get out to too many games, you know, really make that investment because you're watching a quarterback that you might not ever see again uh, in your life as far as talent level. Uh, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I highly suggest suggest anybody get out to Arrowhead Stadium regardless if you're a Chiefs fan or not it just it, it makes sense go out there and, and watch this star be be born here um, it's a great deal for for Kansas City Chiefs Kingdom and and the NFL uh, we got we got the whole na nation rooting for Kansas City so let's keep it up um, you all have a great week um, it is Thursday finish out the week strong and let's get in the NFL draft um, check me out on uh, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, Spreaker.com, Player FM, and all other third-party applications. Uh, this is the Richard Smith Show, where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs.